So I'm currently torn between two long run routes. The first is A1 Mountain Road, which I've run before, but it didn't exactly go well because I uh, tried to make a loop. I couldn't find the right road that I wanted to be on, so the loop actually took me on roads that looked like no human had ever been because they were so rocky. The other road is Hart Prairie Road. Gone hiking around that area before. We're gonna flip a coin. Heads uh, will be A1 Mountain Road. Tails will be Hart Prairie Road. It is heads. All right, let's go. All right, we have made it to the run. This is the road. As you can see, the interstate's right there. So it is convenient to get to, but the first half mile or so are running alongside the interstate. So that's kind of boring, but it gets better after. Well, I'm ready to go. So here goes nothing. It's time for 13 miles through the Coconino National Forest on some beautiful dirt roads. I passed by a two-time NCAA national champion. So I just hit 6.55 miles, so I'm gonna flip, turn around. But as I stopped, it's just nice just to take a second. It's just so quiet. No wind, no clouds, just your average Flagstaff morning. All right, six and a half, six and a half more miles to go. And then it's time for pancakes. Let's go.
This is by far the most beautiful section of the run because you get this old quarry and we're approaching the interstate. We'll get to run three quarters of a mile next to the interstate. Not much better. It wasn't that tough of a run, but my legs were just a bit tired. Yesterday I ran some tempo, so probably tired from that, and then, yeah, just, uh, it's been a big week of mileage. I think I'm at 60 right now, after the long run. It only goes up from here. Actually, it's not true, because next week I have a down week, and then it goes up from there, but, solid run yeah and you know there's only so many ways you can make a 13 mile long run at a pretty easy pace interesting and one of those ways is to show pancakes after the run so let's go make some pancakes i have a special recipe for you that i've been perfecting over the last few weeks it's something that you might want to try at home so that's it for the long run. Let's go back to the apartment. All right, everybody, back from the long run. Pretty worn out, hungry. And like I said uh, earlier, it's hard to make a 13 mile run interesting when all I'm doing is going out for an easy long run. Um, so that's why I'm leveraging my favorite syrup delivery device, the pancake. By the way, comment below, what's your favorite syrup delivery device? Typically, you know, the big three are pancakes, waffles, and French toast. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick, easy, and pretty solid protein pancake. So first of all, you got a bowl here. You're gonna want a banana that's very ripe. I got bananas uh, when I went to the grocery store like 10 days ago and I intentionally left out a couple and chose to wait to eat them so that I could make them into pancakes. Um, with the fork, you just kind of mash it up, you know, mix it up until it looks like that, and then we're gonna add one egg. So now uh, just mix up the egg with the banana, uh, and it creates an omelet that you would never want to eat. Okay, we're almost done. We only have a couple more ingredients. Now we have some oat flour. This is just uh, oats that you put in a blender and it creates a flour. I don't really measure this out. I just kind of dump it in. Yeah, maybe like that much. So that's probably somewhere between a half cup and a quarter of a cup. And then you're gonna want to take this white powder that you have and just dump it in. It's probably good protein vanilla protein powder then next you want some salt you know just sprinkle some salt it's always good to have salt and then baking soda I'd use baking powder if I had it but I don't have any baking powder so I'm just gonna use a quarter teaspoon all right so that's all you need and then you just kind of mix it up until it creates a batter so then from here after you mix in all the oat flour protein powder uh, baking soda salt once everything's mixed, it looks like this. And so from here, you can choose whether you want to make these pancakes fluffy or thin and crispy. I personally like thin, crispy pancakes. And I am all out of milk, which is not ideal. So I'll just have to put some water in uh, and make them a little bit thinner. And there you have it. Perfect pancake. All right, so that'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, run to the max, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching, and have a good run today.